All right, guys, and welcome into this week's episode of the weekly stream highlights. Um, so I made a couple of announcements during the week, lads, and going forward, these VODs and all that stuff on YouTube will be only paid subscription anymore. So the this content's obviously going to be still available, you know, Sundays and on Wednesdays and on Fridays. But in terms of the live VODs and stuff like that, guys, where these this clips are come from, they are going to be paid subscription anymore. So you need to be subscribed to me on Twitch or you need to become a member on my YouTube channel as well to get access to the live stream videos. Um, I kind of just came to the conclusion, lads, that like the fact that I'm playing 500 nil and 1K as of late, but mostly 500s, um, I just can't be giving away all that content for free anymore like i'm streaming for over a year at this point and was all free up until now so i've made the decision that that needs to change for the foreseeable future i also want to mention as well the mda videos will be part of that paid subscription also so that'll be once a month um them videos so this is obviously on the sunday that this is going to be released wednesday there'll be a mda video but only for members on my youtube channel I still want to do some free content, so I'm going to be reintroducing the Play and Explains on Wednesdays outside of that. But, you know, as I said, for Wednesday this week, um, there'll be a Play and Explain. And I'll do a poll either on Instagram or in Discord for you guys in terms of what stake you want me see you want to see me play. Um, and yeah, as I said, the MDA video that, that will be released once a month um, will be only for paid members itself so i just want you guys to know that going forward that that's going to be the layout as i said the hand history reviews i'll still be doing the podcast i'll still be doing and you know whatever else i normally do on wednesday's content but i just want to let you guys know that so yeah as always a little bit of a longer introduction this time but i wanted to let you know that this is going to be the case going forward so as always i hope you enjoy the stream highlights and i hope you had a good week and i hope you had a good weekend as well and i'll catch you on the next one gg uh, don't need to do that in that situation. I'm going to swap this table out here for this. And that's not a good table either. That is not a good table. Uh, queen five here just defending. We'll flop top two. Uh, I think those all swing ranges are good for low rate games only. I def devious based on player profile. Yeah, it's important to do that, bro. Uh, we're just raising here to probably nine big lines. This is a spot where we want to be check raising quite polar on this board. Rainbow boards usually the heuristic is to check raise quite big. I'm going to stay blasting on this turn for probably pot size. We improve to queen jack, then so be it. We're just going to lose the stack, lads, and move on with our life. Is this guy got stacked here and they're just sitting out? So yeah, pot here seems good. Now we're opening here, obviously. Do get called here. Um, like. It's going to be somewhat difficult to get called by worse hands here, in my opinion. He should never have ace-king in this line, I doubt, itself. Um, problem is, like, he does improve to queen-10 and queen-jack, obviously. But um, at the same time, he still has some queen-8, queen-9 that might call here. But, you know, far from ideal about this. But I don't think I can check fold at this SPR. I don't think, anyways. Uh, here I'm going to lead on the turn. You get the fold. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I do think it's okay. Uh, here to start with a small bet first to fish. As I said, he still has weaker queen x in his range here. Wow, he just calls with king five lads. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> the fuck did I do to that lad to make him call that? Fuck me. Jacks are obviously opening. 
on that waiting list there. And Luciano, cheers for the follow as well, bro. Or cheers for the sub on YouTube, excuse me. Uh, Jack's here, probably just four by getting in here always, lads. So gonna make it around 20 big blinds. I'm just gonna run it versus a jam. Is what's going to happen. Do get called here. Going to start with a small bet here, I think. Daniel is just a scan the, sca scanning the lobby as I like to do. Uh, queen four here, three button. Uh, King eight, open, fold that there. I'm uh, gonna start with a check here on the turn. Get four bet here, just fold. I'm going to start with a check here. We have to check call one here. And we have to check call one here. It's going to be a check call, check fold spot, lads, I would say. You're checking. I would assume this hand is already zero EV on the turn here. And I think I check here again. Here I go for a small bet on the river. I think here I go for a check raise with this combo. Here I'm going to go for a small bet. Here I'm going to start with a bet here as well. A check raise in here. All right, we just call. Nice, nice river. Very nice river. We we had a one outer bear lads to hit in that river and we hit it. It couldn't have been a jack of spades because it would have got stacked. <laughs> Clip it. On a couple of waiting lists there for or 1k as well. Did pick up aces here, funnily enough, again. I thought I was sitting out next week blind. Well, I am, anyways. Let's worry about this here, open this here. Uh, it's going to make this like 20. 26, let's say, 25.6, something like that. Maybe 26.5. Doesn't really matter too much. Obviously, four bet nonetheless. And exploitatively, just going to pure fold this hand, lads, in this situation. I am continuing it very, very tight here. All right, we do get action with the aces again, lads. He's got ace four. He didn't want to run it once. I didn't want to run it twice. Hold. Nice. These guys got balls of steel on on high poker, lads. You pick up aces again. Not a bad complaint, I guess. If there's one dynamic in poker, lads, I hate these spots against Cole, Call and Fish. So I do. Hopefully this guy four bits so that'd be fucking awesome. I mean, I, if I've ever ran any better on 600 and L with aces in a short time frame, it's probably today. It's probably been fucking today, boys. All in. Ace King. I am not running it twice, bro. There better not be a king, lads. There better not be a fucking king. Nice. 1.2k pop, boys. <laughs> Clip it. And ship it. Hold that there. Uh, fold here. Ace Queen, probably just pure three bet here on 1k on 8 it is. So that's what we'll do. I'm 
reverse the four of it, I will be calling. I see four bet jams obviously fold in. And it's got king eight here, flush over flush, nasty. Nasty. Yes, yeah, so this table's gonna die here as well, lads. The recreational is gone. And eight's here going to three bet itself. As I said, we do get four bet here, so we are calling. I'm not too sure what the four bet, or sorry, the um, tank four bet is. But we will call. Uh, we're just going to be check ripping this flop, lads. Uh, there's one thing I'll say about this time and tell pre-flop that usually when they take longer, their range is going to be a little bit weaker. Because if they have a stronger hand, it's going to be a lot more obvious decision to just kind of forbid itself. But yeah. We do get the fold here. Yeah, so we just check rip this hand here, lads, at this SPR and on this board texture. We're going to have, like, a lot of King Jack here that wants to check jam out of position. Possibly some 10x of spades and stuff like that. So if we run into ace or kings here, so be it. But very sp easy spot just to get the money in here. And sixes on this board, I will just... Uh, I will just check behind. We will get called by ace, three of spades. Hold! Yes! Come on! Scoopers! <laughs> Clippers! <laughs> Fucking nice one! That was a big hold, lads! That was a big hold for a 2k pot, my brethren! This guy goes for a block bet on the turn. Um, yeah, we obviously uh, call. We obviously call. I'm probably going to have to call the river lads for probably more sizes under pot, I would say. If you just check back. Got ace king. I mean, probably can just check that back on the turn, but probably okay to bet as well. But definitely on the thinner side, I would say. Look at call called by the recreation, which again is not a bad complaint. And that's not a table I want to be on either. Just gonna start with a small bet here. I always think when they get the, the the chip ruffle out, they have a hand. Or they have something. We just check grades here. We are just gonna pure call, lads, and probably never fold this hand, to be totally honest. If this was a more dynamic texture, I'd be a little bit more inclined to fast play, but given this rainbow, we will just call. It's a good turn card, I guess. Unless he has queen 10, which is possible, but again, doesn't really matter if he does or doesn't. He does check here. I'm going to go for a small bet. Uh, versus the half pot here, we're just going to call. Queen's here opening. Uh, we just get this in here, lads, at this point, I would say. I don't think he's ever bet folding. Just a bit unfortunate if he has queen 10 here, but it's probably not likely. But at the same time, you don't know against recreationals. But uh, I am just going to rip this on the turn. Uh, here we call again. I mean, maybe he was just getting out of line, lads. I don't fucking know. Uh, here we can just bet like 65 here. There's going to be a pretty big overfold in this line in the bet bet check. It just tank calls, so it's never queen 10. No, it's just a set of threes, man. <laughs> Deserved. Deserved. 